Over the years, China's economic development has been an integral part of the Asia-Pacific cooperation process. China has attained the goal of fully building a moderately prosperous society within the set time frame, secured a historic success in eradicating absolute poverty and embarked on a new journey toward fully building itself into a modern socialist country. This will create more opportunities for our region. China will remain firm in advancing reform and opening up so as to add impetus to economic development in the Asia-Pacific. China is committed to building a high standard market system and will work to make new progress in reforming important areas and key links. China will pursue high standard institutional opening up, continue to improve its business environment and promote innovation driven development of pilot free trade zones. China has ratified the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership and it has applied for joining the Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership. In the course of RCEP implementation and the CPTPP negotiation, China will continue to shorten the negative list on foreign investment promote all-round opening up of its agricultural and manufacturing sectors, expand the opening of the service sector, and treat domestic and foreign businesses as equals in accordance with law. As a Chinese saying goes, to get things right at the end, one needs to lay a sound foundation. To achieve a good result, one needs to be prudent from the start. Recently, the competent Chinese government departments are improving and better enforcing anti-monopoly laws and regulations and strengthening regulation over some sectors. This is called for to promote the sound development of the market economy in China. As a matter of fact, it is also a common practice in other countries. We will unswervingly consolidate and develop the public sector and unswervingly encourage, support and guide the development of the non-public sector we treat all types of market entities on an equal basis and we are working to develop a unified, open, competitive and orderly market system. This will enable us to cement the foundation for long-term development of the Chinese economy and better support businesses from both the Asia-Pacific and the wider world in investing and operating in China. China will advance green transition on all fronts and make its due contribution to boosting ecological conservation in the Asia-Pacific and beyond. For many years, I used to live in a small village on the lowest plateau. At a time when its eco-environment was undermined and its people were poverty-stricken. It had come to me that harms done to nature will eventually harm ourselves. China will actively promote ecological conservation. To us, lucid waters and lush mountains are invaluable assets. We will intensify comprehensive efforts to stem soil erosion and win the critical battle of pollution prevention and control. China will fully implement its national strategy on climate change response. Since I announced the goals of carbon peak and carbon neutrality last year, China has formulated an action plan for carbon dioxide peaking before 2030 and moved faster to put in place a 1 plus N policy framework. Here, 1 stands for the guiding principle and top-level design for carbon peak and carbon neutrality and N refers to implementation plans for key areas and industries, including the action for green energy transition, the action for peaking carbon dioxide emissions in the industrial sector, the action for promoting green and low carbon transportation, and the action for promoting circular economy for decarbonization purposes. China will strike a balance between low carbon transition and ensuring the living needs of its people, and between development and carbon reduction, and will achieve carbon peak and carbon neutrality within the time frame we set.
China's carbon reduction action is a profound economic and social transformation. However formidable the task may be, we will work tirelessly to make our contribution to promoting global green transition.